Today I want to update everybody on where I've been, what's been going on in my life, and just go over the plan for content wise for the next couple of months. So where have I been? So the short and obvious answer is I've had to take a break for making personal videos. This is what I do as a nine to five job. And man, I really have to watch myself and take care of my mental health to make sure I don't burn out, you know, or it's gonna affect me everywhere. And it's not worth burning out for a video that's gonna get a couple of hundred views. Speaking of that, man, like you just never know what these videos are gonna do. I've done videos where I didn't sleep for days on end. I've traveled hundreds of miles. I've shot literally days worth of footage. Spent another week or two on editing. Uh, all for the video to literally get a couple of hundred views. Whereas I post this silly video of me playing with my new PlayStation steering wheel and boom, thousands of views. I get daily engagement on that, on that video. <laughs> it's like, man, you never know what these things are gonna do. Speaking of that, man, I have been playing way too much PlayStation, like a lot, like way too much. So everybody knows the PS5 has been out for a couple of years now, and some people have been lucky enough to get one if you're in the right place at the right time, but they didn't really start coming into the stores till recently. So at Christmas time, I was able to snag one up and I've been catching up on my gaming ever since. I went through Gran Turismo 7, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I've uh, been playing a lot of UFC 4 lately, Hogwarts Legacy, which was great, F the haters. Uh, just had a really good time catching up on all my old gaming habits. So as a lot of you guys already know, I became a grandfather and then that started me on this path to make a, like a family documentary. And it's just something I've been doing in the background when I have time or when like big family events happen. But before I could get back to my hometown of Mobile, Alabama, my grandfather Quincy like passed away suddenly. It was completely unexpected. And uh, man, really took us all by surprise. He had been pretty healthy work that day that he passed away. So I ended up going back to Mobile, Alabama to pay my respects and everything to the family. And I wanted to make a vlog of that whole experience, but man, it was just kind of snake bit. I think we were just too emotional at the time. Um, my heads weren't really in the game. I got some cool video of my hometown and the best thing was I got to interview my grandmother, you know, for that documentary. So that was cool. I did get that. That was probably the most important thing. But I did get some really cool shots of my hometown and some of the surrounding areas and everything. I almost lost my drone in the Gulf of Mexico. So my me, my brother, and his then girlfriend went down to this place called Dolphin Island, and I was flying the drone. I had literally just it had just taken off, and uh, as soon as it got like up to the height that I wanted it at, boom, lost RF signal on my phone. Well. After that, I, I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't see it. I thought maybe a seagull had got it. And while that was going on, my brother and his girlfriend were fighting, which had attracted attention of this elderly couple that was walking by. So it was like this crazy chaotic couple of minutes. Now, luckily the drone only had about 50% battery life left. So after it got down to a certain point, the return to home function kicked in and it did come back, but I'd have no idea what happened. You know, it recorded the whole time it was up there, but it's really hard for me to watch that footage because I just remember that overall dread I had while it was doing that. I don't know what caused it. Like if I knew what caused it, that's one thing, but uh, it was scary. Work has been pretty good. We've been really busy over the last couple of months. Normally video production is like a feast or famine type deal, but uh, man, we've really been feasting lately. It's been a lot of stuff going on. We've been doing a lot of live video production, live streaming, and like big ceremonies and things like that. Uh, video production for work work is no different than video production for personal life in a lot of ways. Uh, we went out, we did a bunch of videos that, you know, never saw the light of day for whatever reason, and that happens. You know, if you do this long enough, it just it's just one of those things that happens. Okay, so let's get into the content we're planning on covering the next couple of months. First up, next Saturday, April 8th, is the 2023 Fiesta Bike Parade. 
I've been covering it since the first one a couple of years ago. Uh, I want to cover this one. Unfortunately, it happens at the same time as the mural ride downtown, right? So that's another thing. I covered a little bit last year, but I really wanted to go do one, a better video than that uh, with better gear and things, but they're happening at the same time which also happens to be just literally a few hours after the full moon ride ends. So some people are gonna have a, either a really long night going into the next day or uh, they're not gonna make one or the other. Feast or famine, right? The following week is my big event for the first half of the year anyway, which is La Tap San Antonio. So I covered La Tap San Antonio last year, which was the first big La Tap event held in the United States. I'll link to the video in the description or up here somewhere. It was a really cool time. Um, this year, we're bringing out, they're bringing out Jens Voigt and uh, Jenna Kerr, who is kind of like the public affairs type person. And uh, I'm gonna get to work with them. I really love Jenna, man, it's so much fun to work with her. I wish she was closer because me and her work really well together. And I bet we can make some really good content, but uh, it's gonna be really fun to have her coming back this year. We're gonna have a good time. I'm excited to see what they do different uh, compared to last year. Tingonas is gonna do their makeup ride in May from what I understand. And uh, that's their makeup ride from November, which got like stormed out that weekend. So that's gonna be cool. I really wanna cover that. I hope everything goes well. We know how the weather goes in San Antonio in April and May. So let's really hope that Chingonas is able to happen in May. All right, lastly, there's a big event that happens up in North Texas. It's really cool that I want to go cover. I was invited to come out and cover it last year, but it was like kind of last minute. I wasn't able to make it. So I don't want to say a whole lot about it, but stay tuned mid to late May. And uh, hopefully I can make some kind of a post about that because it is a cool event and it would be really cool to go film it. But I don't know yet. It's still kind of early. All right, guys, so we're all caught up. Check out some of my other videos if you're new here. Some of those you may like. Uh, kind of get a flavor for what cycling and filmmaking is like in South Texas. And uh, hopefully I'll see you around. Take care, guys. Peace.